Hi and welcome back to another vlog. Today I have my daughter with me. Her name's Grace and I'm going to be teaching her how to make pizza in rolls. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls, that's it. And we're hoping to do homemade yogurt. We've already had the dehydrator going and if we've got enough ingredients left we may whip up a couple of pizzas to go in my freezer. So let's get going. Okay for the pizza dough or the pizza rolls dough I've used this Amish Baker's cookbook and old country bread but you could use any bread dough that you want. I done it in my bread maker just for ease. So we're going to punch this down. If you use a bread maker, always make sure you pull the paddle out. It does come out sometimes with the bread. Ask me how I know. <laughs> yes, I left it in once. I wondered why I couldn't cut a slice of bread. Because I was trying to cut on the paddle. Oh, no. <laughs> so, right, I'm just going to get this to being a manageable dough because it's quite a wet one. Okay. My daughter has hay fever, so you'll have to excuse the sniffing. <laughs> she can't help it. It's hay fever season has really kicked in here. I've got kids suffering left, right and centre at the moment. And you want a bowl about that sort of size because it's going to expand. And what we're going to do is flatten it out. Tomato puree. Gonna put just a little dollop. We also use tomato ketchup. I find that my kids prefer it with the both. Whoops. Try to actually get it on there. Try and pull that bit. of some mixed herbs from my garden a little bit of our chopped onion and what you're doing is almost making like a mini pizza a little bit of cheese a lot of cheese, I know my kids like their cheese, some mozzarella and then you're going to close the pocket. All I'm doing is trying to build up that surface tension. One little pizza. 
throw onto a tray. I've lined it with the reusable liners and that's it. So off we go. You may need a little bit more. If it's a bit sticky, just flour it slightly with it or flour your hands. Spread it out. Like a little pizza. Tomato paste. Tomato ketchup. Spread it round. Mixed herbs. A little bit of onion. Whoops. Okay, throw it on the floor, pick that up later. <laughs> A little bit of cheese. A little bit of mozzarella and cut up some pepperoni. So we'll put that in there. And then we're going to try and seal it the best we can. Build up the surface tension. And that's the second one. I'm going to put the pepperoni ones on a separate tray so I can remember. Some like pepperoni, some like cheese. So we're going to do a mixture. And these make a wonderful sort of weekend lunch for the kids. They can have it hot or cold. It's their choice. Now these may or may not explode open when we cook them. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. So how easy do you think this is to do? Really easy. Really easy. Everything I make is never hard or complicated. Make it up as I go along? Oh, yeah. And the funny thing is, is the kids want to learn how to cook for me, but my trouble is, is I don't measure anything. So my poor kids <laughs> have to sit and watch and learn how to guess how much <laughs> you put in for anything. Yeah. Doesn't make it easy, does it? No, but it's fascinating because everyone else follows a recipe that you don't. That's right. I was brought up. Yeah, I brought up the old-fashioned way. I'm not worried about the herbs getting on the bread. That's fine. No, I can't measure to for anything. I have managed to convert a few recipes for them, like my cupcake recipe or sponge recipe where they can add and take away different things. That's what I call the things that I do the most that I can I actually have to make a conscious effort to weigh out the ingredients. 
so they know. So they've got like a master recipe that they can add and take away. Add chocolate chips to it. You can add cherries to it. It's what I call a universal recipe. Very similar to this sort of thing. It's like any bread recipe will do. I don't do it by hand because of my chronic pain conditions. So I do it in the bread maker, makes it easy. Easy, simple. Yeah, it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just has to be delicious. <laughs> yes. There we are. I often think the best way to teach kids or somebody else, even an adult, is to actually have them do it alongside you. So they can start to know what a dough quote should feel like. So they get an idea every step. Something I've always done with my kids, I've had them work alongside me. My daughter has now finished school. So in September we will be homeschooling her. That's what she's wanted. Oops, got the herbs. That's fine. Um, so she'll have a lot of hands on cooking time. Yep. Because that's what she's asked that she wants me to part of one of the things she wants me to teach her is what I call being a home cook. Well, I know how to make your own meals and snacks and everything. Yeah. So she will be helping. You'll probably see her quite a lot on the vlog. <laughs> now on. So she can get the hands-on that they don't really get that much of a chance at school. They get taught a few things but not actually how to enter life after school. Yeah. So I think she wants to be sort of like a homemaker I suppose is what you would describe it. She wants to learn to budget make meals from a budget, quick easy meals, everything that you would need to know to basically run home or your own place. So she's having a crash course. <laughs> And that will probably include part of the garden and stuff. I know she's got an interest in flowers and herbal, I suppose herbal remedies, skin creams, that sort of thing. She has helped me in the past with that so she can get better, better knowledge and understanding. Yeah. You could add ham to this, chicken to this barbecue sauce you could add to it. You can add veggies. So you can really adapt this recipe and make it your own. Anything that you would normally put in a pizza you can put into this roll. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees. These would be ideal for lunches as well To My eldest son is off at work and he'll be able to take these in his packed lunch. That would please him. Yeah, he likes pizza. Yeah. 
taste of home while he's at work. <laughs> Right, what I will do now is, when we finish the rolls, we'll bring you back. And here we have just the cheese ones. We've got 10 of those. Underneath, we have eight pepperoni ones. So, I will sort all this out and clear up a bit. And then I will be back with the next item. Next up, because we've got some onion, some mozzarella, and some cheese left. So, grab the master dough out of the fridge that my daughter helped me make yesterday. So, we're going to whip up some pizzas. First up, I'm going to do one of the twins, they like in, <laughs> one of the twins loves homemade pizza and likes it individual ones, so I'm just going to wet my hands. And these will be going in the freezer. Ready for him for when he fancies one. Right. Just like before. Tomato puree. Tomato ketchup. Okay. Some herbs. onion, some cheese, a little bit of mozzarella, there we are. Right, now let me put these in the freezer and I'll be back to do the other two. Okay, for the next part. Wet the hands to smush it out. You wanna go? Go with your hands. Let my daughter have a go. Smush it out. It's slimy. Yeah. You always do the best you can. Why do you wet your hands to stop it sticking to you? We should have wet the board then as well. No, stop it sticking to the board. Right, and then you add your tomato paste, tomato sauce. There. <laughs> Make it fun. So that's what I used to do with you kids when you were smaller. Used to do faces on your pizzas and that. They have like eyebrows out of onion or cheese. That's it. <laughs> Make it fun for kids. So then it gets them interested and engrossed and want to do it as well. That's right. 
making sure it's all evenly spread. Yeah. Say that as I make the herbs not evenly spread. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright. So we're going to do one cheese and onion and one with pepperoni on. Yep. Right. You doing just the cheese and onion? Yeah, I already did the cheese. There is more cheese if it needs grating, so don't panic. Yeah. Use as much as you need. No waste. It's called eating your leftovers. Always use it. And people something. always say to me, what do you do with your leftovers? You don't normally have leftovers. <laughs> but that's not because like you make the exact amount. No. You usually just... make over. Yeah. But, but then, then everyone goes back for seconds. <laughs> yeah. We we'll always have to make double or triple because there isn't. Yeah. We're a big family. That's right. That's right. What? I've done because I never have any. This is going to make me laugh. And half the time, I have to make things and freeze them quick so the kids don't see, just so they can do another meal. Like pizzas, if, if all my kids saw that I'd be making pizzas, guaranteed. We'd want it for tonight. They'd want it tonight. That means I've got nothing in the freezer then. <laughs> it's always trying to judge it right. Do you need more cheese? No, I think I got a lot of cheese. Very cheesy. That is a good pizza. I think that's enough pepperoni. That's a lot of pepperoni. There we are. Okay, let us clear this up and get this in the freezer and we will be back. Next up, yogurt. You're going to need an instant pot. First of all, we are going to put in two skim milk, which is two litres. It's one litre one. Next, you're going to need some dried milk powder. Anyone will do. This is just one that I use. I like it in my coffee. So we're going to put, uh, let's do two heaping ones. It's about that much. About that, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. <laughs> You can want a yogurt that is a live yogurt because that's the cultures that's going to turn this lot into yogurt. Because of the bacteria that's in it, it's yeah. alive, so it will. Whoops. Oh. Yeah. Around about quarter to half of the pot. Be sure to also make a mess. <laughs> right. Then stir. My mum always told me the best cooks were the messy cooks. Anyone else think that? Drop it in the comments below. Homemade vanilla extract. About that much, yeah. And then when you stir that, I sniff and see if it needs any more. I think that's actually really nice. I'd say I a touch more. I have a cold, so I'm the worst person to ask to sniff something. There we are. Really hard. Really so complicated. So difficult. Right, put that in the sink a minute. Then you get, put the inside pot on the instant pot. Focus down there. 
we're gonna put the lid on turn it on and we're gonna hit yogurt and that's it and that will do it itself it'll take nine hours to do from start to finish there we are that's it going nine hours time it's done wow you can actually pull it off early if you Depending don't want it quite to tart it. you can pull it off anything from about six hours and so wood. yeah so yogurt done really hard isn't it right let me set up for the next thing we will be back next up bug spray i've been doing research online and found out certain essential oils is supposed to help repel and kill green fly black fly white fly and every other aphid so it's rosemary peppermint lavender and thyme and i've got my bottle with some water in and I've got some Castile soap base and I'm going to put a healthy dollop into there which I'll probably end up spilling about that much it's about that much and we're going to do four to five drops for every essential oil that I've got here so we've got rosemary one, two, three, four, five. Crikey, you have to count quick. <laughs> On. Give it a shake. One bug spray. When you use something like this, do not go out in the heat of the day and spray it because it does have the essential oils in if you spray it in the middle of the day you're going to fry your plants so either first thing in the morning before the sun has started to heat up or of an evening when the sun is cooler so there we are and lastly what have we got on the dehydrator today we've got our roses we have sorrel, then we have Indian mint, lovage, and all the violas and pansies. And lavender. And lavender, yes. Very tiny. Very tiny. There we are. Wow. That was a busy morning. I'm way into the afternoon now. <laughs> right. On the next vlog, you will see what we do with this yogurt. We're going to make some yummy freezer treats with it. Ah, delicious. And we will let you know how well the bug spray works because I will be using that tonight on all my plants the roses, the apples. Everywhere else, everywhere else, yeah, potatoes, they've all been hit quite hard with it, so we're going to give it a go and see how we get on. Fingers crossed it works. Yeah, so that's it for this vlog, and we'll see you on the next one. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, that way you'll know each time that we upload a video. Until next time, bye! bye.